Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Framer Sites Beta. Framer Sites is crazy because it allows you to create responsive and adaptive websites right there in your browser without any development knowledge or anything like that. It's almost as if Webflow and Figma had a baby. This is what it would take out. We all know the power of Framer, what it can do with its animations, transition, with the prototyping features, etc. However, these set of features will completely change the way we use Framer and also give us the possibility of launching a product right from Framer itself. So today we're going to check out all the new and amazing features that Sites Beta brings in, all the changes and updates you need to know. And of course, it, we will look at what it can do alongside Figma and Sketch as well. So without further ado, let's just get started. So the first feature itself is the pre-built elements that it has. Now you can quickly just drag and drop stuff like say a carousel. So if you want a carousel, you can just drag and drop from the left into your uh, web flow right here and you can create a ca carousel from scratch. They also have pre-built sections for you. So if you want a really cool looking, say hero section, um, like say this one, this one is really trendy these days. You can just add it right here and it's all pre-built. The buttons, the text, everything can be adjusted and changed according to your taste or your design system that you've created. I think we've seen this in a lot of other web builders like say Webflow or Editor X. So these features are not completely new for a design tool, but definitely for a tool like Framer, it is a very huge helpful feature. It also brings the powerful integrations, uh, uh, including audio, socials, video and animations, forms, utilities, e-commerce, everything that you require from a, say a web development uh, tool or a no code tool, it exists on this platform now. Another cool thing is that you can now import from Sketch and Figma from inside Framer and then publish it as an actual website. As you can see, it's already created a custom domain for you. It's called contextual choice something something dot framer dot app. This is an actual domain you can open inside your browser and check out your design and how it has come out. How crazy is that? How cool will it be that you can export your Figma files, any Figma design as an actual ready to use or ready to publish website. They also have some really cool templates that you can pick up from. My favorite is this video tools template, which as you can see the preview just loads up here on the website. And as you can see, all the animations happen. As I scroll, it kind of pops up all the information on screen. So it has actual scroll animations enabled on uh, Framer now. So you can, as you're scrolling, everything just animates into place. You can even do this with like a parallax image effect. So if you want a parallax effect to take place, it will happen as well. So now, for example, I add an image and I want to add, say, a effect to it, say like a parallax effect. So as to say, I can just click on this image, go to the right, and on the right, I have this effects here. If I click on effects, it says scroll speed and appear effect. So appearance will just make it appear on scroll, but I want scroll speed. So you can increase or decrease the speed of its scroll. If I decrease it a lot, it will slowly move as I am scrolling. Or if I increase it anyway, it will move faster with the screen. Definitely know that it has a lot of customization for parallax scroll, for appearance on scroll, etc. Another amazing feature is that any image that you've added in your, say, website or your design, this tool has the capability of converting any PNG or JPEGs into WebP format. WebP, if you guys don't know, is becoming a very standardized format for displaying images on the web. It's super lightweight, it reduces the amount of stress on your website, and it also makes the website super affordable to launch. So WebP is the standard to go, and Framer now helps you convert all your JPEGs or PNGs into WebP. In fact, you can even export anything as WebP. They give you the ability to change the PNG to WebP from right here. So you can change it in the export options as well, which is super helpful when working with developers. In fact, there is a really popular video on how somebody has created a 3D interactive website on Framer sites. And it allows you to interact with the components, animate it on a 3D access, etc which I think is incredible. I was really surprised to see such capabilities 
in a tool which has just been updated with these features. So having all these features in a ready to use tool is just what we wanted. Now, sometimes you're designing say a responsive or adaptive website. You want to change between desktop, tablet, and phone. We can do this from right here. And of course we can add more breakpoints if we like. So if I want say a phone, it will change it to phone. Of course we haven't designed anything for it. So it will have the old design here. But if I want to add say another breakpoint, a custom breakpoint for say a tablet or a particular kind of phone, or maybe a larger screen than this, you can add more breakpoints as you like. Another change is that now all the pages you are adding will act as different web pages. So you have one home, you have another page which you can name anything and you can keep on changing like that. Another great feature is that you can just drag and drop a Lottie file right here. So you can just add say a frame which allows you to insert a Lottie file. Lottie files are really popular and are used on a lot of websites these days. All you need to do is either upload a Lottie file that you already have or you just link a URL from a Lottie Files website. That is, the, that is one of the best ways to do it. Or you can just upload your own Lottie file. Of course, there's a lot of customization you can do. Playing, yes, no, loop, yes, no, direction, normal, reverse, speed also, progress, you can increase or decrease. You can even trigger notifications. Uh, you know the notifications that you get on phones or even on your desktops, Macs or Windows? Well, you can even add a notification to an element. If you link this to say a button or anything, if you click on that button, it will allow the website to create a notification and send the users a notification, which is super useful. If you turn something into say a component, for example, this I can name as button or whatever it is, you can add variants and then add interaction to it. So if I click on say hover and pressed, so if I say hover, it should change to say, a uh, I don't know, a dark blue or something like that. Uh, it's not a blue, of course, it's more like a teal. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play this page from the top left here, click on this play icon, I can preview it. And if I scroll down a little bit of hover over this, see how the hover interaction plays out. You can of course edit this interaction, add more custom or complex interactions to this as well. It'll be crazy to see what you guys build you know, with these interaction features on your websites. Uh, I will show some examples on screen so that you can see the capabilities of this tool and what crazy stuff you can make with this. There are tons of features you can check out for web developers, web designers, for UI designers. Everything exists on this Framer site's changelog, which you can find, of course, on the top of their website, which says updates. It allows you to see all the updates that they're adding what, while they are adding it, they've updated this two days ago only. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time and same place. Until next time, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless.